Patients with severe hemophilia A typically receive prophylaxis with functional clotting protein factor 8, or emicizumab, but both require frequent dosing and carry a substantial risk of breakthrough bleeding. Valoctocogene roxaparvovec is an investigational gene therapy given as a single infusion that showed promise for bleeding prevention over one year in a trial among men with severe hemophilia A. Researchers now report two-year data from that cohort. In this open-label single-group multicenter phase 3 trial, 134 men receiving factor VIII prophylaxis received an infusion of valoctocogene roxaparvovec. Factor VIII prophylaxis was scheduled to end at week 5 after infusion. The primary endpoint was the change in annualized treated bleeding rate at two years post-infusion. 112 participants had prospectively collected baseline data on bleeding rates during factor VIII prophylaxis. Among these participants, the mean annualized treated bleeding rate decreased by 84% between baseline and the post-prophylaxis period. Factor VIII activity, a secondary outcome, initially increased after infusion and then declined gradually over time to a level consistent with mild hemophilia. 16% of all participants used one-time prophylaxis during follow-up. No new safety signals were observed at year two. Elevated alanine aminotransferase levels remained the most common adverse event, reflecting an immune response to the viral vector, and were treated with immunosuppressants. All gene therapy recipients developed anti-AAV antibodies as expected which precludes reinfusion of the AAV-mediated gene therapy in these recipients. Although no patient developed neutralizing antibodies against transgene-derived factor VIII, the post-gene therapy factor VIII level continues to fall, making any prediction of the durability of factor VIII expression unclear. The authors conclude that in men with severe hemophilia A previously receiving factor VIII prophylaxis, a single infusion of valoctocogene roxaparvovec was associated with a significant reduction in the treated bleeding rate, with no new safety concerns, at two years after infusion. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.